Hello, hello, my gorgeous Pisces. Love you so much. Happy birthday. And I will could not forget you. So, um, yes, happy birthday, my dears. Love you so much. Thank you for watching my channel. This is Ali J with Ascended Stars. And I'm bringing your love reading to you. Um, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your unconditional love and your just awesomeness, Pisces. So I would um, like to see what is going to be happening for my Pisceans in love in the next um, half, the second half of February. Spirit, can you please give us the best energies here to focus on for my subscribers, watch cross watchers <laughs> um, at this time. Thank you so much. And let's see what we have for Pisces. You know, Pisces energy is about surrendering. It's about unconditional love. It's your superpower, unconditional love. You guys don't hold grudges, you know, and um, that's probably why you live long. <laughs> um, unless you become, you know, upside down and you be the victim, which uh, we're all getting out of that. And, you know, things are getting better for us all, my dear Pisces. All right, so let's see what else we have, the outcome. And what crosses you? You got two. Okay, I'll leave it because it's your birthday. But normally I just would, would take it. But, you know, well, you're special. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the past, Pisces. Six of Swords. This is the Robert Hansen deck. Six of Swords. So it looks like you've been um, on an emotional journey here, which has caused you to reevaluate some of your beliefs and your thoughts um moving forward what's beneath you what is oh my goodness the two of cups beautiful energy um i give to your cup you give to mine so you might have met someone pisces and you feel you have strong feelings or you are very if you're single okay and you haven't met anyone you have your eyes set on someone and you know how that person makes you feel and that's who you're, you know, that's who you want. That's who you want to manifest. That's who you would like to be with in the future. Your current energies is the seven of rods, okay? So um, my Pisces, you might have to deal with some uh, negativity around you and some beliefs that are outdated and um, you're defending you're defending yourself with others or you're defending these beliefs that don't serve you to your ultimate and so um this is the energy that you're contending with and it's beliefs because it's the wands and it's fire it's probably why you have two cards here um what's either hindering hindering you or helping you um this is really bad energy here this is you know the victim energy that we're trying to get out of in the age of aquarius so your thoughts are really in a negative place um doubts of yourself of your capabilities um you feel like you need to defend yourself you're very defensive and sensitive more than anything probably sensitive and i i attribute this to you picking up on the collective's fear. All the things that are happening right now is causing a deep um, fear, like a ripple effect of fear. And you cannot let that affect you, okay? Um, you are a loving, kind person, and um, people sometimes attack you for that because they see you as, they see that as a, as a weakness. And that's why, it, then and then they, poison you they bite you with their venom and then you gotta you know pass that venom through you well please don't do that let's see what this other energy is yeah you know your home right now is your sanctuary it's where you're going to recharge and rejuvenate your energy it's also 
you know, protect your heart because I think of the home as a heart, the heart, the home. So protect your heart. Um, you know, don't let things really, um, from the outside, don't watch too much social media or, you know, news to affect you and don't, you know, get involved with too much of that, um, circling the drain mentality of negative things happening. And yes, it could be, you know, bonding a little bit, but that's not going to serve you to your highest. And so you have to stay balanced. Four is, a, is about balancing. Um, it's a happy home. It's a happy heart. So reach, to, you know, keep praying. You guys are about spirituality. Um, connect with your spirituality this month um, because you're going to, all that energy of, of the collective is, is um kind of attacking you so beware of that and um what's above you is the six of cups so yeah you will be very nostalgic or someone from your past has showed up that's what's beneath you that could be why you're also defensive and you're you're now you're stuck like oh my god what am i gonna do this this person has come from my past now and and it just you know it, it just through you for a loop but it says you know focus on your family and your home and your heart you'll be okay um so this this is dealing with the past energy okay could have been a nice sweet energy in the past and um we'll see how it is moving forward but you know that's that's a possibility okay future energy justice it's about balancing yourself you're gonna have to balance all this negativity all this, you know, the, the sort of truth. Be honest with yourself, Pisces. Um, you can be a bit of a dreamer, up pie in the sky energy. Um, somebody can tell you some stuff. I love you. I want you back. I'll be good to you. I've changed. Um, you're the love of my life. There's nobody sexier, nobody better than you. You know, they can get you really good with those sweet words. But you have to stay grounded. And um, I also hear you have to speak your truth, okay? If somebody comes back and they did you wrong, it is time to speak your truth. That sword is really coming up for me as, you know, cut the BS and speak your truth because you need to express that you've been hurt if, if that's the case. But um, it could be legal matters as well. Uh, I'm Perhaps some of you are getting divorced. Perhaps some of you are separating. Um, and this person doesn't want to let you go. <laughs> picking that up too I wouldn't want to let a Pisces go either okay so let's see um, what your hopes and dreams are the Queen of Cups you know to live in your truth to be this person who can give your cup to the person that you love and it's a big look at her she's holding a big cup and she is sincere she's holding it with two hands it's such beautiful unconditional love it's absolutely gorgeous so you know you want to be in a safe environment where somebody's going to be receptive to this it's great energy this is you this is you um okay so what is your fear or your phobia the two of pentacles having to balance your money right now could be um financially draining to you uh, you might be overspending, emotional spending could happen too, um, emotional eating. And look how his eyes are closed. He's so unaware that, you know, he's, he or she is swiping that credit card and just ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. By the end of the month, it's like, oh, damn. So um, your fear is, is really about, you know, having having to just always constantly balance that checkbook. How do others see you? Oh man, they see you as great. Look at that, the King of Cups. They see you as someone who is emotionally evolved, emotionally mature, um, who is a good counselor, who's a good listener, who's sensitive, who's, um, this is typically a, a preacher, a teacher, um, a counselor, and um, someone who's wise beyond their years. Even if you're a young person, you might be wise and, and sensitive beyond your years. That is a wonderful way. People come to you for that empathy and you are you have it to give. So that's great. And how do you think of yourself? What are your thoughts? Ooh la la. <laughs> the hangman. Um, with all this energy here, you're stuck. Two, two cards of being stuck, right? The eight of swords and the hangman. So your thoughts are, are, are looping and being negative and you're not able to... Uh, 
to make um, a decision right now, maybe about love. Because you got to balance, because you got to balance what's, what's, um, what's really real, right? Pentacles is the manifestation of the, the 3D of now. So um, you're in this state of limbo. Uh, you're emotionally trying to get a good perspective this month. And, and I don't blame you because Pisces is an illusionary energy. It rules, um, you know, it's watery and in the water, you don't know how deep it is, right? You don't know how shallow it is and it rules mirrors and the cinema, you know? So everything I did just, who did I tell this to Libra at? Everything that shines isn't gold. You know, sometimes it's aluminum. So, you know, people could be presenting this thing to you, a carrot or whatever. And you know, you're, you know, this is also um, people knowing that you have really good intuition. You're very good with your intuition. And also since it comes up, it means, you know, connect to your intuition, follow your intuition. This is another one, follow your intuition. Okay. Because the past is here and it looks all beautiful and you, you love how it was in the past, but that might not be so in the, for the future. So, um, this, this love is beneath you. It looks like a past lover is coming, not, you know, it doesn't look like a, a, a somebody new here. Okay, so the outcome is the king of pentacles. So talk to your earth signs, your di duality, your Capricorn, your Tauruses, and your Virgos. Man, they will tell you the truth and they will give you a dose of reality. And so you need to gravitate to them. This could be your boss too, or you really need to focus on your business and all this other love stuff is getting in the way. So um, because you need to manifest because you are here you know juggling your money that's your fear is money is, is the money situation as well so here we go here's somebody who has money they own their own business they have they run a well tight ship basically but it's not ship because you know they're an earth sign um so this is um a businessman okay and he thinks Pro, um, pragmatically he develops himself slowly he's to, he's gone toward his gold um strategically okay i'm also picking up uh, mars so an aries there um you might want to get advice from these people but it looks good because it looks like you'll be on top with your money situation by the end of the month okay um, typically these are 30 40 days readings okay so let's see what we have for the masculine in love with the romance card trust this situation is calling for you to have faith all right so um i guess if you're um on the fence about it it looks like you know use that faith use that trust and uh, go within and trust your intuition for the feminine is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So this could be someone really worth giving a chance, but don't just give this person a chance, you know, say, oh yeah, here, here's an open door. Come in, come into my house now. You know, put them, put them through the whole romance and courting situation again. Have fun with it. I mean, you know, if they did you wrong, might as well start from scratch. And um, now you get to, you get to write the story. What do you need to surrender? Surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet, meditative moments, focus on the stillness within the, within, and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too, and your life will flow more easily. So because you're under so much conflict, I do feel like you're going to have to be um, in, indoors in your home or maybe somewhere where you feel home. You know, maybe if you go to your parents' house, you feel like more homey there. Whatever it is, um, an aunt, a grandparent, but you know, that to, to, to collect this inner peace. This is for my feminines. And then for the masculine, there's two surrender cards. So we have surrender to your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. I feel like this is for my cross watchers, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's crazy. Um, and then I feel, let's see, well, I don't feel, uh, the second card is surrender to your intuition. Of course, Pisces, tune in to your inner voice. 
Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. There's so many planets in your sign, Pisces. You're very supported this month. Um, but there could be some uh, impulsiveness with Mars in Sagittarius as well. So do not be impulsive. That's not a good energy for you. Um, trust your gut. Now let's see what we have for Angela Hartfield. Listen with your heart. Oh, I love it. See, this does represent the heart to me. The heart energy, um, the four of wands. To me, I know it's I know it's like the 1111, but it is 1111 as well. So this person could be a big catch for you. But um, listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. You also need to listen to what they're doing, <laughs> not what they're saying, because you guys can get caught up with what they're, they say to you, all these false promises, maybe from the past, or just because you're just a very forgiving sign and you can be caught up with that um, illusionary state. Watch what they do. That's this is This is this energy. These people do. They do. They don't say. They do it. Okay. So then we have fear. Oh, yeah. What's the opposite of love? Fear. So some of you will be caught in fear. Sorry for the glare. Some of you will be trapped and caught in fear. And that's your challenge this month. And this is what this is about. All that fear-based energy. You guys have a great imagination. Okay. You roll cinema. You can let all this get, get carried away out of control. You need to um, zone in on your heart, okay? Ask the angels to help you. Archangel Michael will come in and cut cords of those fears, okay? Now, the last card is um, your crystal oracle card, and it's carnelian, which is fantastic because it's for manifestation. Ooh la la, and it says healing, creativity, energy, calming, grounding, stability. This wonderful crystal offers you protection and healing. It will help dissolve the sadness you have recently experienced as well as calm your thoughts and see, ease your anxiety. Carnelian will also help you to express your emotions and stimulate your creativity. You are encouraged to take up a creative pursuit or hobby at this time. Start to express yourself in whatever way you choose without judgment. Working with color will especially be helpful at the moment for color can also help to stabilize and heal your emotions over the coming days you will begin to feel a renewed sense of peace joy and wonderment for life give thanks for the wondrous blessing you are receiving because you definitely my pisces are a blessing to those around you i love you pisces thank you for watching thumbs up share um, help grow my channel and um, I do have a special for romance down below it is um, very reasonable it's only in the description box and for Pisces I am going to extend my romance reading until the end of your birthday only for my Pisces okay God bless I love you much love and light I also have a website www.alliejade.com Bye-bye. Have a good birthday.